Matthew Ogle. I'm here with the Matter Around Ski Patrol. I'm also part of the Young Adult Patroller Program. Uh, today we're going to be going over airway management on a chapter, it's found in chapter 9, and pages 301 and 302. Okay, let's go. My name's Henry Kwan, I'm with Ski Patrol, and we're going to demonstrate our different tools for airway management. So before any skill station or before any skills, we're going to have our BSI on, our gloves, and we're also going to make sure our scene is safe. So the first piece of equipment I'm going to demonstrate is the oropharyngeal airway, or the OPA. So for these, we use them in an apneic patient, a patient that is not breathing and that does not have an intact gag reflex. So to measure it out, we're going to take this from the corner of the mouth to the angle of the jaw. So take this and you're gonna measure it out, make sure that's kind of in line, and then to insert it in, you're gonna crisscross your pointer finger and your thumb to open the airway up. And for an adult patient, you're gonna to insert towards the hard palate and you're gonna rotate in and pushing in as you do so. And then once you get that secured, you can ventilate your patient, create your claw and your C, and do a head tilt chin lift. Now you can deliver ventilation to your patient. And you should see the chest rise. I see you the chest. You should see chest rise and fall. So, next piece of equipment we also have is a nasal pharyngeal airway or an NPA. So, what this is for is for a patient that we want to secure an airway, but they have an intact gag reflex or they're conscious. So, we can't be putting stuff in their throat. So, to measure this out, we're going to do tip of the uh, nostril to the tip of the earlobe right there. So it's very important that we lubricate it, so that way we're not trying to push and shove it down into their airway, make sure it just goes nice and easy. And so when we insert it, it's important that we insert it, the bevel away from the septum. So what that means is that this, the uh, slanted portion, does not come in contact with the middle of their nostril or the septum. So this would go into the right nostril, and with the lubrication, it should just go down right in. And then now we have an airway secured. You can ventilate your patient as if you just had an, a, uh, an OPA in. You should see your chest rise and fall as before, head tilt chin lift, and you're secure, your BVM, and make sure it has a proper seal. And so the last thing we're gonna go over is suctioning a patient. So this is if you have a patient that's vomiting, has blood in his airway or other secretions. So there's a cap, take this cap off, and then pre-oxygenate your patient. Just get deliver one or two quick breaths. And then after you pre-oxygenated your patient, you're gonna take this, insert it only as far as you can see, and then just pull up and start suctioning out as much as you can. Take it out and you can resume ventilations.